ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Game Night starring Cedric Mfuranzima. This is our third, and tonight we are swimming in coffee. Look around us. <laughs> we got loads of coffee from Clock Coffee in Poland, the number one coffee you should be drinking. They are sponsoring us tonight, and they're going to be with us for the next couple of shows. Tonight we have a fun game to you. We're going to be watching a um, very competitive team go at it, and let me introduce them. I'm Chris. And I'm Chip. We're from the Portland Club. Yep. And Go we're on. reigning champions. Yeah, uh, we are. Life has changed a bit since becoming champions. You know, you walk down the street, you know, babe magnet, you know, it's... Uh, you can't brush them off. <laughs> you can't no, brush them. It's uh, kind of Flies crazy. Are everywhere. Yeah. So. And who, the, who are these guys playing tonight? I mean, they're going down. They're going down. Comedians. Comedians, yeah. We're playing against comedians. Yeah. It's funny. Yeah. It's going to be funny. I know, yeah. what do they know about trivia, you know, a comedian, you know, they're too busy telling jokes to know anything, you know? Chris and I uh, know each other for a while and uh, we joined the Portland Club because we like to play pool and foosball and watch sports and just have a good time. It's own little private place, a uh, great community there, all ages from 21 to 81. And we all uh, love sport, love of games, love of pool and uh, it brings us all together, so. Hey, we're the River Comics. Uh, my name is Nick Gordon. I'm Leonard Kimball. We perform comedy all over the world, but mostly in Lewis and Auburn, Maine. Yep. Uh, we do shows every week at Craft Brew Underground in Auburn, Maine. Uh, and then we do shows uh, wherever people might want them. Uh, yeah. Backyards, poolside. Yeah, funerals. Girls, uh, Divorce proceedings. Mm -hmm. uh, gender reveal parties. Yeah. Anywhere where, that could be comedy. Yeah, wherever you guys <laughs> want us. I started doing comedy three years ago. I took a stand-up comedy class. Uh, and then I took a uh, comedy writing class uh, held by Nick. And uh, we hit it off really quickly. Yeah. We decided to form a little partnership. Absolutely. I've been performing for almost eight years and writing comedy. And for the last three and a half years, we've been producing comedy as the River Comics. And uh, I'm just happy to be here. <laughs> happy to be anywhere. <laughs> exactly. I think we got a pretty good chance of winning tonight. I don't know about you, but uh, I'm feeling very smart. Uh, I feel that you are very smart also. So, oh, excellent. So yes, that, that, should, that should help us. It should work out well. And we are back. We have our guest, as you heard him. To my right, we have here the River Comics. They are the challenges. Nick and Leonard. And on my left, we have the defending champions from Portland Club, Chip and Chris. They are here and they are ready to go at it. Gentlemen, get your hands ready. It's about to go down. This is alphabet. I will say a letter and the answer must start with that letter. Let's go. We are on A. This is the capital and the largest city of Madagascar. Madagascar, that big old island. Come on, boys. Think about it. It's called Antananarivo. Not easy. And it was just one point. Can you believe it? Good. B. <laughs> this is a sport where teams of one or two uses rackets to volley a shuttlecock. Yes. Badminton. Badminton. That's right. The letter got it. One point for you, brother. Let's go. C. This is a representation of a person that is exaggerated for comic effect. Yes. Caricature. Exactly. Caricature. D. It is a reality show where celebrities musicians, actors, and athletes appear attempting to win a dance competition, climbing back to fame. Yes. Dancing with the stars. Dancing with the stars. I chip one point. We are on E. This is April 22nd each year. It is international holiday to honor the need to put. Yes. What is Earth Day? That's right, my guy. He said, what is Earth Day? Is this Jeopardy or no? <laughs> Here we go. We are on F. The property of being wild or turbulent. You know them boys, yes. Frantic? You know what? That's not the one I'm looking, but I'm probably gonna give you the points. The points on Chris, <laughs> I was looking for ferocity. Same thing, oh. frantic, ferocity. Same, okay. same, same. Property of being wild and turbulent, yes. We are on G. This is 790 and 1080. It is a kingdom in Northwest Africa, also called the Wagadu Impact. Yes. Ghana? Ghana. 
This is the only African in the building, by the way. <laughs> and he listens to That's reggae only. <clears throat> we are on H. This is uh, the United States astronomer who discovered that as the universe expands. Yes. Hubble. Hubble. There we go. Hubble. What, was he ahead of you or you guys are ahead of you? Hubble, Hubble, Hubble. Hey. We are on I. This is the satellite in low Earth orbit that houses several astronauts for months at a time. Yes. I heard them first. International Space Station. That's right. International State ISSS. We are on J. This is a famous professional soccer organization based in the province of Turin, Italy. Oh. Yes. Juventus. Juventus. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Let it hurt him. He hurt him. We have two soccer heads in the building. Right. The third. <laughs> we are on K. This is a complex, constantly changing pattern of shapes and colors. Yes. Kaleidoscope? Man, you're brilliant. Kaleidoscope. <laughs> I can't even pronounce that thing. We are on L. A 6th century BC military leader in ancient Rome that defeated an Etruscan king to begin the period of the Roman Republic. His first name starts with L. Yes. Leonidas? Nice try, boss. Sneaky, that's Leonardo? Leonardo? Nice. <laughs> uh, you all know how their names go. <laughs> Leviticus? Leviticus? Ah, oh, god damn, he's making me weak Fine. now. We are looking for Lucius. Uh, oh. Lucius, Lucius Unitus Brutus. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like that, huh? Close enough. I was <laughs> God damn, that name can make you thirsty. <laughs> There's a Lucius Brutus Brutus. <laughs> we are on M. This is a Congolese Swedish singer, songwriter known for the famous song, Bumpy Ride. I can't sing, guys, come on. You know, there is a reason why I ask questions. Yes. Marley. Marley, nice try. We're looking for <laughs> There's only homie. eight of them, yeah. <laughs> We're looking for my homie. My homie. <laughs> Man, I wish I could play this song, man, but in the editing, we'll play a tune for you. We are on M. This is a small island country in the central Pacific Ocean, 2,800 miles to the southwest of Hawaii, in Micronesia to the west of Gilbert Islands. Fun fact, they have a 71.1 obesity crisis. She, this island might say. Uh, this is a small island. No? Yes. I'm gonna say Nouveau. Close? I know, it's not it. Close, close, close. Yes. Nuvolo. No. We're looking for Nauru Island. Yeah, you know how to go for the place. Nuvolo, Nuvolo. We're on, oh, a tall, tapering, four-sided stone structure. A stone, yes. Hit it, hit it. Now I don't know. Ah! <laughs> An obelisk? That's right, my yeah. God, obelisk. <laughs> we are on P. A province divided between India and Pakistan. P. P as in P. As in peeing. Like P. A province divided between India and Pakistan. Yes. Sorry. Come on, Chip. Come on, try, try again. No, we're on P, bro. <laughs> I'm looking for Punjab. Ah, oh. <laughs> was I fast? Should I give you a second? That's all right, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We almost had it. We almost had it. Yeah. We're not going to Look, I'm going to give you guys like 15 seconds. <laughs> Here we go. Q. We are on a, Q, a branch of physics that studies the behavior of atoms. Yes. Quantum? Like, exactly. Quantum, Quantum physics. You know a lot of stuff. <laughs> we are on R. This is the capital of Morocco, located in northwestern. Yes. Rabat. Rabat. That's correct. Chip on the roll. One point on him. We are on S. This is the name. The, the name means solemn and is of French origin. What am I referring to? The name means solemn and it is of a French origin. You are on S. Yes. Sad. Opposite, my friend. <laughs> Sanguine. Oh, Solange. Ah. But oh. it sounds like it. <laughs> we are on T. This is a radical Islamic movement that led Afghanistan from 1996 to 2001, and again, more recently, T. Them boys got guns. Yep. Taliban? That's right, <laughs> Taliban. We are on you. This is a person, especially a child, who turns out to be beautiful or talented against all expectation. You. Yes. Ugly duckling? Yeah! Ugly oh. duckling. <laughs> you should have seen me before the pandemic. <laughs> v, 1851, 1868. This is the culture surrounding the discovery of gold in Victoria, Australia. How do you call this period? We're on Australia. 
1858, a culture that surrounded the discovery of gold in this particular province of story Australia, known V. I already gave you away the half of the answer. Damn. <laughs> yes. Victorian gold rush. That's right. <laughs> oh. Trust yourself, Nick. Yeah. Come on, get into us. Victorian gold rush. We are on double U. This is a condiment prepared from the ground thick pungent greenish rhizome of an Asian hub. Yes, yes. Wasabi. Wasabi. That's what's up. We are on X. <laughs> we're moving, we're moving heavy. X, this is an anti anxiety agent of the benzodiazepine. Yes, here, here. Xanax. Xanax, that's what's up. We are on Y. In oral voting, how do you say yes? Yay. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> For 0 0.5 points, which African country that had leader as Mugabe? Yes. Zaire. Ah, uh, close. Come on, Mugabe. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. <laughs> <laughs> that was the end of the first section. We'll be back with more Clock Coffee. Are you interested in Maine's best new local coffee company? If so, you found it in Claw Coffee. Whether you like the bold taste from French press or carefully pulled espresso shots, Claw Coffee has you covered. Look for Claw Coffee in all fine retail centers, as well as online at clawcoffeeroasters.com. We're back and better, brought to you by Claw Coffee, my people. Seven points on my right, Rivers Comics, and 12 points, Portland Club. We've seen this before. Let's make sure they don't win, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Let's put them in their place. Here we go. <laughs> they keep winning every game, you know? <laughs> Somebody has to. Question number one, specific, only five points, five points each. So let's bring up these points. Number one, between 2005 and 2018, Deborah Lee was a chief executive officer of what entertainment network? Deborah Lee was CEO of what entertainment network? For five points. Yes. Fox. Ah, no. No, it, it's, it's an it. Yes. HBO. No, no, no. CNN. No, the audience, Leonard. <laughs> Netflix. No, it's BET. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> Rush, not put her picture up there. That would have been half an answer. <laughs> we can edit this part out. You see a yeah. chocolate woman, you think BET. We're going to. <laughs> who is a French professional footballer who plays as a goalkeeper and is the captain of both Premier League club Tottenham Hotspurs and the French national team? Yes, yes, here. Five points. The Gaia? No, no that's, that's Manchester. No, wow. that's um, Courtois. Five. No, 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 that's, that's not Courtois. We are looking for Loris. Oh, yeah. You go, Loris. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. One yeah. question. <laughs> no chance of me getting it. There are two people who follow it. Chip is not happy that's about a, this. That's a tough one. <laughs> He's not happy about it. We are three. Real yeah. 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 <laughs> there is a micro mobility company based in Santa Monica, California. Over there, they specialize in reliable last mile electric scooter rental services. What is the name of that company? They do last mile electric scooter rental services. Yes. Segway? I think that's right. They go to the same thing as you have it on the card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you, I haven't. Look. <laughs> I think that's right. I think this that's is, right. This is, this is a very nice point. Can somebody help me with the research? Is it bird or Segway? Segway. So we give it to you. Five points. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We are on four for five points still. Since the kingdom's foundation in 1932, it is the first time Saudi Arabia is considering canceling this year's season of this significant religious event. What event am I referring to here? Yes. The pilgrims to, to Mecca. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I need the proper name, though. Otherwise, I'm going to give you two and a half. You are right, you are on the thing. I need the name of the, the Hajj. The Hajj, that's right. Oh, the Hajj. Yes, five points on chip. He earned it. We are on number five. In the noble Greek art of rational behavior debate, which is essential to make a st sorry, I'll repeat this question. In the noble Greek art of rational debate, which is essential to make statements and counter arguments. Yes. Socrates method. Close enough. What noun have we given to conversations in the Greek art of debate? What noun have we given to conversations in the Greek art of debate? Back and forth. Socrates going away with so and so. How do we call that back and forth? That um, that uh, that flow, that flow of debate, of discussions. An ebb and flow. <laughs> 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 
Socratic method. I don't Deliberation? Know. Yeah. It's actually much easier and closer to that. Yeah. I'm looking dialectic. Oh, mm. didactic. Dialectic. That, 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 that's, oh, see? Yeah. Like I said, I'm not the smartest guy in the room, <laughs> and this is a very anticlimactic way to end the section. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with more coffee, my people. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yes, Raid. New bug killer discovery from Johnson's Wax. Raid contacts and kills all kinds of bugs indoors. Raid hunts them down like radar. Sweeps bugs from the air. Attacks them as they crawl. And kills them dead. A little goes a long way. Kills bugs even where they hide. Yes, Raid kills flies. Mosquitoes, roaches, ants, all kinds of bugs indoors. Outdoors, Raid protects your garden, too. A little kills insects that attack flowering plants, evergreens, vegetables. Caution, ordinary household sprays kill plants. Raid saves plants. So don't buy several bug killers. Get Raid, first bug killer for house and garden. Raid, house and garden bug killer. And back with better questions and more points, this is Clock Coffee. The number one coffee in Maine, you don't even know. This is too specific. Three questions, 10 points each. We have 17 points to Poland. And seven points on my right is the River Comics. 12. 12. 12. They almost <laughs> took me, man. 12, 17. You got it. 12, 17. In Arabic literature, the subject of unlucky love appears often, sadly. Arabic writers call this form of literature the ghazals. In the story of Leila and Majnun by Nizami Gonjavi, 1949, the author draws a similar storyline as William Shakespeare wrote. Which one among Shakespeare's mirrors Leila and Majnun? Which one of, yes, 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 hit it, hit it. Uh, Romeo and Juliet. You got it, my brother, 10 points on you. <laughs> Romeo, if you think you got it, you got it, hit it. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. I'm gonna be wrong. Question two. Well done, Nick. Well done, well done. Question two. One type of these focuses on rates of change, such as slopes, tangent lines, and velocities, while the other one deals with total size or value, such as lengths, areas, or volumes. Which two types of mathematics am I referring to? Yes. Statistics and geometry? Close enough, but no. One of them deals with rates of change. The other one deals with total sizes or value. I'm talking about, nice try though. So it's like geometry and like dynamics or? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm looking integral and differential calculus. I should have said what type of calculus. Oh. Yes, ah. yes, I misled you my people. I was right. looking for integral and differential calculus. That's the correct answer. Number three. There are inscribed three versions of a decree issued by Egyptian king on the Rosetta Stone. Each version is written in its language. The top and the middle are written using ancient Egyptian hieroglyphic and demotic scripts. In what language did they write the third and bottom parts? Yes. Hebrew? No, no. There are three versions of a decree issued by the Egyptian king on the Rosetta Stone. Each version is written in its language, yes. Aramaic? No, 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 no. <laughs> Each version is written in its language. The top and the middle are written using ancient Egyptian hieroglyphic and demotic scripts. In what language they write the third? Yes. Pig Latin? Pig Latin. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think Greek. Ancient Greek. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what they use. So close. So close. <laughs> yeah, that was the end of the two specific section of questions. And we'll be back with the hardest part of this game. And the it's hardest? brought to you. <laughs> it's brought to you by. Clock coffee, the number one coffee beans in the main again. Don't wake up without your clock coffee, you know. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this commercial is going to use subliminal, subliminal, subliminal advertising. That means you will never see or hear the name of the product. Oh, it'll be there on the screen, all right, but the naked eye cannot detect it. This way you sit back, relax, and enjoy me as I tell you this <laughs> rather <laughs> funny story. It seems that these three men decided to take a trip and... The 
second guy goes back to the dry cleaner system. Just... So he opens the little door, goes. Ip, 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 ip. So the third guy says, Yeah, but you better bring back the hangers. <laughs> We call this session too too specific because it's that specific, you know. Here's the question. Before I tell the question, I want to let you know the points. Things have changed around here. 22-17. River Comics got 22 points, and the Poland Club has 17 points. But this question has 30 points. Whoa. Lord have mercy. <laughs> here we go. What are the five parts of the mass, the main form of Christian religious worship? It started developing in the fifth century, and these parts have not changed. What are the five parts? <laughs> what are the five parts of the mass? I said 30 points. I have Should've to, known. you know. I don't remember it. But I don't <laughs> it has to be worth it. This is why I'm giving you time to think about it as a team. Come on, as a team, get the answer for me. What are the five mm -hmm. parts of the Catholic mass? 30 points. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to let you guys think about it as a team. I don't know, five. You can give it to me in Latin. Or pig Latin <laughs> or in English. <laughs> it's game night. It's all games and fun. Come on. Sure. Hit that buzzer if you know you got it. Sure. Sure. I don't Come on. Okay. 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 If you think you have a p the buzzer, hit it. Come on. Phones <laughs> <laughs> are oh, not totally allowed. They're not even allowed in the studio. Come on now. <laughs> hit it. Hit it. Yeah. Somebody got it? I, I might have. Yeah. Yes, let's try. Let's give it a try, Chip. The blood, the host, the creed, the sermon, and the collection plate. Ah, oh, see, that's one of mine too. Mm. <laughs> I hope that's one of them. That's, oh, number, that's, that's one number one. And make it the, the, the most important clip of the show. <laughs> the, the collection plate. No. That's, that's oh. not it. All right, I gotta, I'll take that one out of my choice. Okay. okay. So I have like uh, the, the uh, sacrament. Mm -hmm. uh, the, Eucharist? That's something, right? Mm -hmm. The sermon seems right. And then I had collection plate and nap time. So I don't know. I don't know anything else. I don't know anything else. He Sorry. says nap time. Mm -hmm. Nap time. <laughs> it's actually Kairi, which is Lord have mercy upon us. Like they title these parts in names. Then there is Gloria, which is glory be to be. There is Credo, I believe in God the Father, and Sanctus, where they sing holy, and Agnus Dei. So basically each part is divided by a song, I believe. So oh. it's been like this for hmm. thousands and thousands of years. Anyways, you might have heard it in the news, and it's true, we have new champions tonight. The River Comics have outthrown, dethroned, and kicked on the curb Poland Club. <laughs> Very sad day for you boys. But hey, I guess we have to go to the club. Thank you. And lucky for you, lucky for you, Trying we got some gift cards yeah, from Club Coffee. Thing. We're trying to keep you awake all day, all night. That's 20,000 worth of coffee. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> the River Comics. And this was the end of the show. We'll be back with more of this pro coffee. Thank you so much for keeping us going. If you want style like it's style for weeks. And if you want this life, know it don't come cheap. Brush stroke in my walk, baby masterpiece. And if you're about it, about it for some masterpiece. I'll get you in my face, hot and heavy to preach. All about how you've been feeling a queen. Desire so hot, girl, it beggars belief And in no uncertain terms, are you coming for me? She says she keeps cool While I make my own move She plays the game too She's looking for me Running down the city tonight She wants to take down The love I wear as my crown She wants me on the ground She's looking for me Running down the city tonight